Hello, I'm Carolyn Clifford, and here are your 7 Action News headlines. We're going to start with the weather, of course. Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroff in the Weather Center right now, watching it all. A lot of water coming later tonight through Saturday into Saturday night as well. Two to three inches common across the area with the ground still semi-frozen. There'll be a lot of runoff, so big time flood concerns around the area. Officially, it's late tonight, very late tonight into early, early on Sunday morning. But some of that rain will start to freeze over into freezing rain and sleet combination. There's a new ice storm warning now. You can see the timing here, 4 a.m. Saturday to 7 a.m. on Sunday. So again, very late tonight to early Sunday morning. It is Oakland. Livingston County, also Lapeer and Sanilac County. I will tell you though, in Oakland and, the, and also in Livingston County, the northern sections of the counties will be affected more by that than the southern portions of the area, but it'd be pretty easy to get a quarter to half an inch in some of those northern counties and up through Lapeer and Sanilac County for ice. That will create power problems that will create roads that get locked up by the ice. 48 early on Saturday, dropping to 35 in Detroit, but the northwest counties we're talking about drop below the freezing mark as the day goes along. Sunday, maybe a little snow shower early, 7, 8 o'clock in the morning, then it's kicking out of here. And the winds blow too, that could create more trouble for the power. All right, thank you, Dave. State health officials have confirmed the first two pediatric flu deaths in Michigan. Michigan. The Department of Health and Human Services says the children were from Wayne and Shiawassee counties and were infected with influenza B. So far this year, 32 children in the U.S. have died from flu-related complications, and health experts warn this year's strain is hitting kids particularly hard. Well, the University of Windsor held a vigil today for members of its community who were killed in that deadly Ukrainian jetliner crash in Tehran. Uh, people on campus are heartbroken by the loss of at least five students. A total of 63 Canadians were killed. Today, mourners came together on campus at the Alumni Auditorium to pray for the victims and share stories of their accomplishments. As we've reported, U.S. officials believe that plane was brought down by an Iranian missile. New details tonight in the murder of the pregnant U of M Dearborn softball player. Gabrielle Brantley came to court today to hear the evidence against her. She is accused of killing Cabria Arnold back in November. In court, Brantley's lawyer disputed the qualifications of the expert witnesses used by the prosecutors. After hearing some of the evidence, the judge decided he needed more information before he could determine whether or not to head to trial. Michigan's first indoor dog park is set to open this summer. The park is located on West Driver Drive in Comstock Park. The company's website promises a safe and friendly environment for our best friends and community, for the people who love them. There are multiple membership options available, ranging from 30 to 200 bucks. They also offer daycare. Those are your 7 Action News headlines. We have those stories and a whole lot more on our website at WXYZ.com. And, of course, our 7 app. Have a great night.